No. Okay. Okay, though. Okay. Okay. I cannot stress it enough. I don't need a portable DAC app for my busing, too. It's real easy to drive. I tell you. Easy to drive. But do not need a DAC app, I said. I do not. Oh, oh, hey, Mark. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. I'm done. <sighs> These intro will kill me one day. Eventually. One way or another, it's gonna kill me. Anyway, file, portable, DACAM. I have three over here, two, but pretend this is a Q5S. I, I didn't buy it. So, let's give you some backstory right now. My lugger. I'm giving that to my uncle. He wants a 5G phone and I don't want to buy a new phone, so... Yeah, giving this to my uncle. So, I would no longer be able to have the lugger and it's powerful. Headphone jack. Very sad. I'm gonna be using my Moomzo phone, which is actually filming this video right now. It's a Xiaomi CC9 Pro, or also known as internationally as the... What is it called? The Xiaomi Note 10. That thing is ha That thing is have. God. <laughs> I feel like a Fortnite kid. It does have a headphone jack, but it does not have a good DAC and an amp. So, that's where I sort of realized that, hey, it's about time for me to find a portable DAC amp. Here we are. Can you feel the heat? Can you feel it? It feel... It. <coughs> oh, hey, Gecko. Oh, and a dead cockroach. Ew. Today's video is going to be about the parallel comparison between the three decks I have considered. This BTR5, the Q3, and uh, pretend this is a Q5. I tried. Yeah, the, the thing with the Q5 is that I did listen at the, the store for more than an hour. Didn't buy it. Just have to trust me on that. Just trust me. Reliable person. I don't lie and I won't lie. Feel doesn't pay me, but hit me up if you can feel my wallet up. Gecko, are you alive? Hey Gecko, I think you're dead. Oh shit. Anyway, oh, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Oh yeah, yeah, the back apps. <laughs> These equipments are being driven by the lugger that's about to be seized being mine, and the earphone I will be driving is something special. It's a personal use case. It's my blessing too that I talked about the previous video. Yes, it's the, it's. It's a really special kind of earphone that is really low impedance and high sensitivity, easy to drive, so take that in mind. It's a personal use case report, not really a actual review. If you want an actual review, I'm just random midian on YouTube, please don't look at me. Anyway, let's start with the Q5S. <laughs> um, me in the future, me in the future, doing editing, me in the future. Put a Q5 fits in my hand, please. This is a... The Q5 is a later consideration for me. It wasn't on my list of mine for the longest time because mainly it's out of budget. The only reason I should have dug into this is because of the fact that I'm finding second-hand ones going for the equivalence of 120 bucks, which is about on par with these. I, I mean, those are sort of two years old, but I hope they work, and that's why I put in my consideration. Let's just start talking about it. Let's begin with the sound. I'll be honest, it's a little bit overshooting for my use case for the low impedance, <laughs> low impedance and high sensitivity IEM driver. It does open up the soundstage quite a bit. A notable upgrade from a non-balanced output from the lugger. The detail retrieval up and down are slightly better. Slightly. Just that little bit better. The separation is improved. Improved. <laughs> improved. It's improved. Slightly. Again, 
slightly. And the sound signature of the Feo Q series is usually more analytical, a little bit colder compared to stuff like, I don't know, the Core Mojo. Five is generally very pleasant, but it's a little bit harsh sounding with the Blessing 2, especially with the silver wires. <laughs> oh, God damn it. It does drive my Shot 9500 perfectly well. It tightens up the bass. Uh, but I don't use these with my deck that much because these are my beater headphones. I play games with these. I smash these. And yeah, these are not my music headphones. These are my music pieces. And I'll be honest, it doesn't provide me with that big of a jump while using these. A little bit sad, but... Hmm. Let's move on. And then, let's move on to the form factor which is very important for the Q5S. That's the deal breaker. As you can probably see of this really accurate replica of the Feel Q5S, it's a mega chonka. I mean, like, it's big. It's, it, I like him big, I like him chunky, but not this chunk. It, look at this with my phone. It's just the size of your phone, but double the thickness. I, I cannot say anything about it. At over 200 gram, it is as heavy as an iPhone 12 Max. Or put in a better metric, it's heavy as a medium-sized mountain. <laughs> it's really, really tricky to hold alongside a phone. The matter of time that your phone is gonna kiss the concrete because you cannot get a serious grip on either of them. It is not a matter of whether it's gonna happen or not, it's gonna just matter of time, you see? It's either the Q5 or your phone. Which one is gonna kiss the concrete first? I have no idea. The thing with the Q5 is that they're really, really stretching it when they're calling this portable. It's not really portable. And also this, the Q5, it blew up my eardrum on half volume. So I subjectively hate this one because it tempted to kill me with too much power. The problem is sort of plugged the OTG the wrong way around and the volume went very high and it didn't turn down after I connected it back and just boom! Poof! Earrums. <laughs> Gone with the wind. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, look at me. Meow, meow. Oh, you just weirded out. <coughs> I'm sorry. Where was I? This was the unintuitive controls and the fact that my head is telling me I really should be getting Core Mojo if I'm spending this kind of money. I didn't get a Q5. It's unfortunate. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything though because of the other offers for a while. This, the file Q5, definitely is not for me and my easy to drive IEM. It's gonna be much better doing the hard lift for the big over ear. A lot harder to drive. These, they aren't it. Oh, that's gonna be it for part one. Part two is gonna come soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. What a. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Awkward transition. Maybe I'm not gonna cut this video in two parts. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then...